Wait, did it brave battery the party before he launches? Let's let's take a look again. Oh, it does! Ah! Hey everybody, VL here. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Trying to scare your audience away? You probably shouldn't laugh anymore. Hey everybody, VL here. Welcome back to another Decidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia November Reporter. <laughs> So before we proceed and talk about the remaining November content, as usual, a big, big thank you to Leo Bob and Zedakai for the translation that both of them have posted in Discord. So again, I'll be reading through the translation while showing you guys both footage from in-game and from the Ope Ope video. So first up, Leo's LD and BT will be releasing in the upcoming six-party team fight. Whoa, what the heck, there's a tornado sandstorm in that crystal? So according to the slides, his LD does a AoE magic plus HP attack. Brave damage will be increased if he is attacking an enemy with the force debuff, which is a debuff from his skill 1. And the name of his LD buff is called Shining Chick Crystal. No, I'm 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 not kidding. That's really the name of his of his buff. Why is it named like this? Well, because his cheek is shining with the crystal. So what this cheeky buff does is that it moves Leo's turn to the selected unit, which after that it initiates a chase regardless of the turn order. Wow. So yeah, there we have it. The king of launcher is back. So I guess Leo's LD will be pretty similar to Kai's where he gets to choose which ally order he wants to appear. But I'm not too sure Leo's turn will be placed before or after the selected unit. We know that Kai's skill to turn order is placed after the selected unit. My guess is that Leo's will be before the selected unit. But that's just my guess though, or unless I'm reading it wrong. Well, we will see during the video showcase later on. And his BT does an AoE Magic Brave plus HP attack. Uh, again, it increases Brave damage to enemies that are inflicted with the Force debuff. His BT effect increases the chance to initiate a chase and there will be a Brave refund to the party depending on the amount of HP damage done to the enemy. So I guess it's sort of similar to Kai's LD debuff. So yeah, uh, that's that's all we know for Leo's uh, BT effect. So I guess we won't really know exactly the full details of what his BT does completely until the release of his BT showcase video, I guess. Now, if you've been following my channel, then you guys should probably be aware that I personally really like using Cloud, Dark Knight Cecil, and Kai's, uh, aka the Squax airline team, to cheese some Lufania content. So, knowing Leo is that one unit that started the launch meta in JP, and I know you guys are wondering, will I be pulling Leo to replace any one of the Squax airline team? Hmm, probably. I don't know yet since we still haven't really seen the showcase video for Leo's LD. But I'm most probably gonna be chasing for Leo's LD. But for his BT, I might consider using my BT token on him. Although I'm really saving my BT token for either Zidane or Titus. Oh well. And yeah, I said Titus and not Titus because... Me and Titus, we are gonna do a little exploring today. Titus, let's save the analysis for later. Titus, you've already been there for me once when it mattered the most. Hey, Titus! <sighs> Titus!
T da. Damn. T da. She said it, not me. T da. Okay, back to topic. So, I guess I'll try to get Leo's LV in this event. Next up. Okay, okay, here we go. The preview of the six party event. Wait, what? Why isn't Prish using her E at? Oh, oh, right, it's, it's co-op. That explains why. Right, right. As mentioned before, the six party event is gonna be co-op based. So it seems that each person can only bring one extra unit that you want to swap with before commencing the co-op. Interesting. Seems like Celeste will be getting a LD rerun. Ah, here comes Gilgamesh. Alright, alright. Alright, alright, here we go. Trish swapping with Kral. Ah, okay. So you can't swap back and forth on the same turn. So once you make the swap, you're gonna have to wait till your next turn again, I guess. So... What do I think about this six party call event? I think it's kinda meh. Given that this is solely a co op event, unless there is a Lufania difficulty which you can tackle without doing it in co op. So it seems that it comes with three difficulty normal, hard, and very hard. Normal, which is, I guess, it's the EX difficulty. Hard, I guess, is the Cosmos difficulty. And very hard should be the Chaos difficulty. And yes, according to the report, there will be a Lufania difficulty for solo play. But I'm not sure if we can still bring 6 units for the Lufania difficulty, or would it still be like the usual 3 unit fight? So it seems that Gilgamesh encounter will be random. Having Leo's BT will help increase Gilgamesh's encounter rate. And if the overhead counter reaches zero, uh, he will uh, run, escape. Nope. But if you manage to defeat him before he flees, you will be rewarded with a Gilgamesh token, which can be exchanged for high armor tokens and BT tokens. Synergy for this fight will be Crow, Celeste, Prish, Alphanaut, Leo, and Kais. Yeah, so that's the update for the 6 party co-op event. I'm pretty excited about it knowing that at least there is still a Lufania difficulty for solo play. So with that, let's take a look at Leo's showcase video. Alright, 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 showcase video. <laughs> alright, we see Prish swapping in Leo. Four skill usage of the LD. Good, good. Wait a minute, look at that. Look at Leo's LD. It is a sandstorm. The sandstorm is, is brewing inside the crystal. That is awesome! The amount of details the dev put in for this weapon is insane! Right, so he's gonna use it on Celeste. And then he's gonna launch. Two HP dump. That's good. Alright. So now we see that it is gonna launch regardless of the turn order of the party. Wait, did it brave battery the party before it launches? Let's let's take a look again. Oh, it does! Four hundred over thousand damage, my goodness. <laughs> okay. Launch again. Yeah, sure. Right, right. Is he gonna use his EX? No? Skill 2, okay, okay, sure. Alright, alright.
Wait, so is Kai's LD gonna be featured in this event as well? I'm thinking it's only Celeste since we're seeing Celeste's costume here. So it's gonna be only Celeste LD rerun. I don't think Kai's LD will be getting a rerun, but if he does, then it's gonna be awesome. And uh, according to the footage, this looked like a solo play rather than the co-op play. Alright, now this makes me really feel like pulling Leo's LD even more. <sighs> yep, guess I'm gonna be chasing for his LD. Next up, we have the third Fiat Transcendence event, which is dropping on the 25th. So for this update, it seems like we will be getting a support campaign for this as well. And the reward for clearing all three Transcendence will be an astonishing 20,000 gems. Wow, 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 you are very strong. <laughs> so yeah, for anyone that is still having trouble clearing the first and the second Transcendence, uh, worry not because there will be a first free multi pool to help out with the first two stages. But uh, we still don't really know who will be featured in the free banner. But still, I guess it makes sense to have a kind of banner for players to pull since the Lufanian condition for the first two, uh, the first one especially, is quite uh, douchey. Also, we, uh, we still don't know which character will be featured for the third transcendence though. So I guess we'll still have to wait for further updates. Next up, the Metal Gigantor will be returning on the 20th till the December 11th. So during this period, these are the rewards that you can obtain if you do the daily Gigantor every day. So again, just to be clear, these are the total amount of rewards you will get if you do the daily missions from 20 November till 11 December. So just take note, you don't get this amount of rewards every day, it's just the total accumulated amount of rewards you will get by the end of this campaign. Next up, Whale Terry blah 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 blah. Sorry, sorry. I mean, jam sales. And uh, would you look at that? 9,000 yen for this amount of armor tokens. Uh, I know I'm getting these as well, but the armor tokens. Are they still not gonna address? Next, we have the World of Illusion campaign. And yes, the World of Illusion campaign will be returning. Uh, you know, at this point of time, maybe they can consider making the magic pots a permanent thing already. So yeah, if anyone is short of the blue orb or the red orb or even the artifact tokens, um, this will be a very, very good time for you guys to farm up any of those. So there you have it. A very short video since there really isn't a lot going on for the remaining of November. But we know that the Divine Brothers Summon will be launching at the end of this month with a brand new BT unit. And we still don't know who is that mystery feature character during the third Fiat Transcendence. So will anyone be pulling hard for Leo's LD and BT? I personally, as mentioned earlier, will be going for his LD. So uh, let me know in the comment section down below what are your plans for the remaining month of mid-November. And until the next report video, take care and stay safe. See ya!